Hey guys, I will show you Abzin Control, or uh, the Abzin I'm playing right now. And it is different from most people's decks list, but stay with me. Uh, Become Immense, Other End, Evolutionary Leap, as a one of, this card is very good. Like, it's not survival of the fittest, but it doesn't need to be in standard. Uh, Coco, so Collected Company is just gas, it is very good. Hero's Downfall, two of them. Two of them main board, I obviously the card is going to rotate, so I don't really want to uh, stock up on this card too much. Rhino, uh, where are my other Rhinos? So, and we're missing one more Rhino, but we'll find out the Rhino later. Yeah, we're missing a Rhino, huh. Weird, Rhinos go missing all the time. Uh, Murder's Cut, Sorin, which is very good for the life gain, we are slower than a lot of decks. Oh, here's the uh, other Rhino. And the reason I'm playing this... <laughs> the reason I'm playing this deck is for this card, Anna Feza. Uh, one of my favorite cards. I love the card a lot, and uh, it's nice to be able to play her. The mana base on this one is expensive, though, so it's not the cheapest mana base. Dromoker's Command. Uh, Fleece Main Lion. Well, Rack, Death Dealer, and then Fleece Main Lion. Thoughtseize, right? So those are your main cards. Obviously, Thought Seize is you have to play if you're in black. Fleece main and then uh, Death Dealer. Fleece mains will rotate out, so I'll pick the cards that are rotating out. Jamoka's Command, very easy to get now. They used to be extremely hard to get, but they're in the class pack. Anafeza, one of my favorite cards. Soren, it's a good card. Rhino is one of the reasons you play this deck. Murder's Cut is very good. Downfall is good. Coco is good. Oh, Downfall rotates out. So let's go with the cards that's going to rotate out and how it's going to affect this deck. Thoughtseize is just crazy good in this deck. Uh, other end, Becoming Mance is so good with Rhino. Uh, yeah, it's just a crazy, crazy card. So these cards are rotating out. Fleece main line, that's going to be extremely annoying when it rotates out, but like, what can you do? It is a decent card. It will it see modern play? Probably not. I mean, it's not really modern playable when you have something like Tamagoyf at, you know, cheaper cost or at the same cost, but it's actually bigger. Uh, here with Downfall, it's not a big deal because you have other ends and Thought Seize will probably going to have to replace with another card removal. So not too much will change in this deck right here, but the land base will change drastically. Uh, so obviously we have these, two forests, two swamps, a forest, a plains. Temple of Plenty is going to go. Orgbog is going to go. Temple of Silence is going to go. Caves will stay. Waste will stay. And temples. So, all, so half your lands are going to go, which is not great for this deck. But you'll survive off the fetch lands, I guess. So three temples of Malady, four temples of Silence, an Org Bog, a Temple of Plenty, a Forest, a Plains, two Swamp, four Sand Step Citadels, four Land of War Waste, and then three Caves of Coleos. And this is the combo combo that. I found has been the most efficient. You are not really worried about your turn one play, so your a land coming into play tapped is fine. And next we get into our sideboard. Sorin is very good. He offers life gain against the aggro decks. A lot of times he's too slow against the really fast aggro decks, but against the mid range he's very good. Whisper Wood Elemental obviously just gives you card advantage. It's very, very good. Liliana. Okay, so let me talk about her for a little bit. Uh, as a cyborg card, she's not bad. A 2-2 two, two, that if you play another one of her, she dies. A lot of your creatures die all the time. And when she flips, she becomes something very, very powerful. Like, incredibly powerful for this deck. Uh, she becomes the Lily Ana you want for this deck. So if you are playing abs in mid-range, your plan is to play Rhinos. But to do that, you need board control. So plus twoing her, going up to five is insane. And then I just keep plusing her. There's no reason for me not to plus her until 
uh, I, I've automated her many, many times. She is not the hardest plane. She's a hard plane walker to flip, but not a hard plane walker to ultimate. And that makes sense because you're using her for the discard ability. Your opponent is just not able to deal with her. Demonic Pack is an interesting card I'm testing. I haven't really tested that much. Uh, Murder's Cut obviously is one of the best Bellow cards in this deck and Hostilities and Crux of Fate. So Board Wipe is your friend. You don't play... My current meta, my local game store isn't that fast anymore. It's more mid-rangey. So these cards are fast enough to wipe out your opponent without them being able to uh, kill you before. The life gain on this card is extremely relevant because like if you play her and then you play Sorin, it's some mildly uh, interesting amount of life gain. Uh, Sorin is actually incredibly good, I feel like, in the in a token based deck, which hopefully which I'll show you a version of that deck as well. But he makes it 2-2, you play your if your Liliana flips somehow then Liliana and Sorin together are almost unbeatable because they just give you so much advantage. Um, so much absolute advantage for these two cards. I also heard minus X is not the worst case scenario. Your two drops are fine. Fleece Main Lion, all these other two drops, I mean, they're decent. They don't, you don't really need to be too worried about this particular card. Um, not being useful when it flips. The problem is, can you flip it? So that is my Lily Honor version of Absent Control. It is a lot different from most versions, or I guess it has some significant differences. I just really enjoy playing it. Bye, guys.